Action. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Bruce Simmons. I'm the convener of the Alice Springs Community Garden, which is about an acre of land, uh, very well developed. Even in the last seven years, we've done a huge amount of work to uh, put in 44 individual plots, lots of uh, community um, activities. We're just putting in a new office and uh, toilet block, and um, We've done a lot of that on the basis of voluntary work and community grants. We've been very fortunate to be able to get quite a few community grants. And the opportunity that Reese has presented uh, for us to potentially uh, improve our irrigation system would be, uh, would be a wonderful thing to do because we do have some issues with our current system. We have seven or eight Galcon timers. I'll just show you one here. This is one of uh, seven or eight, some in ground, some on taps. The, um, we have to continually adjust them, uh, check them for, the, make sure the batteries work, adjust them for weather, weather conditions and so on and so forth. We have a situation where all our gardens are under uh, drip irrigation, and, uh, which is essential in the, in the hot climates of, of Central Australia. And uh, so we have to keep on changing our systems around. We've got seven or eight Galcon timers uh, supplying uh, our um, uh, vegetable and the flower beds. We've got a lot of trees and uh, other areas that um, require different, have different requirements. So we're really uh, pretty keen to get a much more automated system. We, we have to keep on checking these as I say, we have to keep on making sure the batteries are working and that can be uh, if we uh, if we miss out for a week in the middle of summer, we're in our gardens are in big trouble, and our uh, plot holders all rely on this reliability that we have. And uh, it would be much better if we could have a more centralised system that would give us uh, um, warnings if anything was going wrong, and would allow us to control things much more easily without me having to get down on my hands and knees all the time and uh, and adjust things. So the other thing is, we do have an in-ground system, which has been very good, but we've had a couple of, of significant leaks uh, under the underground about uh, so far uh, underground, and a lot of them now are covered in uh, a lot of the lines are now covered in plots with uh, not not necessarily the stone wall that we have here but with all sorts of walls and so on makes making access to those lines very difficult so at times we've had to basically cut the line and put an above ground line in to um, to uh, to circumvent a leak that we couldn't adjust in any other couldn't repair in any other way so we are looking over the longer term to having a uh, more of an above ground system, but at currently the system we have works works well when it's working. But uh, we do, as I say, we need more we need more controllers. We need a couple of major controllers. We do also need some mechanism for re for recording and seeing where our water use is, and uh, and and giving us some better idea about whether we have a leak and where it's coming from, so that we can. Uh, repair things. Um, just recently, we had a we've been notified we've got a, a leak of 60 litres an hour, which is costing us roughly $250 a month, which is quite in, quite significant. We have yet yet to find where it is in the garden, and that's uh, that's a major concern for us. So, as I say, we do need controllers. We need we need better systems to to ensure that we uh, know what we're doing and uh, can keep on top of things. And all of the gar all the work in the garden is um, voluntary. Uh, we, we, all our, our committee, uh, our plot holder reps and so on and so forth, they all, everything is voluntary so that uh, uh, it's not as though we have anyone here permanently who can keep an eye on things. We need, uh, we need systems that will allow us to work as a voluntary organisation.